Okay, what I want to talk about uh, in this part of the video series is uh, the painting preparation. Um, on the table now we've got the loco body and if you remember on the tender I uh, used some filler on uh, on uh, on uh, the back of the tender to fill uh, to fill some, uh, some some gaps and holes and so on. And on the loco body I've actually only found um, one uh, spot where I actually wanted to use uh, filler. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll show you a close up of a of a still photo of the of the of the spot, but it's actually here where um, the t this this the tab on this side from the spectacle pa uh, plate where that was bent back and where it was soldered here there was a tiny tiny gap in the etching, so I actually um, filled that. Thinking about the painting of the body, this is quite a complicated uh, object to spray paint with rattle cans, I think, because I want to spray the inside of the cap sides, the cap, the spectacle plate back, and so on. I want to paint them green as well, and then of course the outside of the loco. So um, what I've decided to do is uh, I'm going to take the plunge uh, once it's prepared for painting. Once I'm uh, for, for the I'm going to try it with the primer stage. I'm going to be holding it like this. Obviously my hands have got I've got uh, uh, gloves on, and I'm going to be spraying this inside bit first. I'm going to concentrate on the inside of the loco, short burst with the with the with, with the rattle can, and then. Um, for the outside, what I've actually made from some scrap wood is a small uh, is a small mounting, and then the loco will then go on that mounting like this, and then when it's on uh, in the in the uh, when I'm spraying it, I can get round everything without uh, having to touch it again and paint the outside. Which is obviously the most important part. Obviously, what's got to happen first is I'm going to give it another decrease um, with that stuff I showed you in the last video, and then it's going to I'm going to be using um, 400 grade sandpaper, lightly go over everything, especially being careful with the rivet detail. Just it's all going to be going with 400, then it's going to after that wiping it clean with white spirit. And uh, and then uh, it's ready to go. First in the etching primer, bake it off, and then in the the body colour and bake it off. Obviously, we've got um, we've got the barrel, the boiler barrel. Uh, again, another degrease, lightly going over it with 400, and then um, uh, I'm be putting fuse wire. Putting fuse wire between uh, through these holes and then uh, and then holding it that way, suspending it that way while I'm painting it. And again with the tender, I've made myself a little contraption from some spare wood just to keep it off the floor. So to start with, I'm going to be going through, priming it as much as I can, getting in all the nooks and crannies at the top, at the side here at the front, and then it's going going to be placed on, uh, on on some board and then I can concentrate on the green areas and the green areas the most, most important green areas of the outside here so what we have here are the screws that hold the roof on they are actually let me just put that across they are actually they actually fit here on the outside of the spectacle plate so I'm going to make uh, paint them green these bolts that are here, the front mounting bolts for the body, they're visible. The these are the two 10 BA bolts for the rear lamp iron on the tender, and the lamp iron. So they need to be green. The lamp iron itself needs to be green, and these are actually the uh, the steps. For the front uh, of the loco, I'm going to be gluing them on separately. I've decided. Okay, we've got the boiler barrel, got some 400, and just very lightly, I'm going over it 
I have degreased it the second time just going over it very lightly just so that the etching primer has got something to grab hold of obviously the most important part is the top because uh, under let's say halfway it's all hidden by the side tanks got one of these photographers blowers so going over that body same very lightly going over it taking bare by the rivet, rivet details and rivet detail here the rivet details on the back I haven't decided yet whether I'm actually going to paint uh, the inside of the cab cream or not after, I'm still thinking about that blow the worst off okay moving on to the tender then it's exactly the same I've got a new piece of uh, new piece of 400 now so I'm getting all the nooks and crannies here Okay, side plate. There's all this rivet detail there, so I have to be a bit careful. Trying to get the sandpaper in between the the the, the rivet heads, if you like. Other side. lamp iron all right um, apart from a final degreasing um, we're about right for the first painting session okay we've uh, so now we're going to uh, give the keyed uh, parts that are going to be sprayed uh, Another degreasing, so we've got the degreasing mixture in the in this plastic uh, container here. I'm just we're just going to go over it inside too. Don't forget the inside. I'm not using this toothbrush this evening, by the way, to brush my teeth. It's an old toothbrush. So I'll be going over the whole thing like this. There's one. Will it fit in? Yeah, it'll fit in. So I'll give this a going over. the parts in water and then let them dry off naturally okay uh, hi everybody I'm now uh, in my painting bo painting booth or my garden shed and I'm just uh, just starting on the primer just uh, done the inside and the nooks and crannies of the tender 
moving across here just done the boiler sleeve and some other bits and pieces there's the bolt heads of the stuff that's going to be green and I've still got to do uh, the most difficult bit and that's the body so I'll crack on and I'll get back to you uh, at a later stage okay so there's the loco in the primer the body oh try it again yeah there's the uh, loco body in the primer quite difficult but it's done so it's now a question of uh, uh, waiting 10 minutes here in the painting booth and then putting them in the oven for the bright primer to bake off so here's the oven there are the bits and pieces in the oven as the way you can see that on the film on the video there and we're at uh, 75 degrees so it's in the oven now for 30 minutes with the primer to bake it off turn the other off let it cool down off let them stay in there let it to, to cool down with the with the, with the with the oven we'll have an inspection and then we'll go on to the green so just finished the second coat top coat on the body and uh, the tender here there's the barrel so I'll be giving it just one more coat and then uh, they'll be going in the oven for half an hour the same as with the primer so we'll get back to you when it's uh, when we're there so the oven's been turned off it's been 30 minutes and then they've been allowed to cool down and uh, here they are on the table see if I can get see if you can see that perhaps it doesn't come out on the <coughs> on the film but uh, they're not bad a little bit of orange peel and there's one or two uh, dust specks but uh, considering they've been painted in my garden shed, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that. So what's going to happen now is uh, there'll be... Uh, oh, let me bring the, the boiler in, the boiler sleeve. There's the boiler sleeve. Yeah, as I said, I'm quite happy with that. And um, what will happen now, um, I'll take the... The, uh, the mountings off the, for, for, for the painting and um, they will uh, stand for a week at least to thoroughly harden uh, before we get on to the next stage which is uh, filling in the black on the tender and the loco where appropriate and I've actually got some um, sort of cream ivory colour so I, uh, if I'm feeling brave, I might just go for um, doing the inside of the cab, the top half, in uh, in uh, in cream. So that's it for the green.